I'll do a response video to uh, somebody else, a fellow YouTuber, um, uh, Mark Vergeer. Um, he has just recently posted a an open tag or a comment uh, response video to a question that he's posing about favourite racing games. Um, I watched Mark's video with a fair amount of keen interest actually because I do really love my racing games. I think part of that is born out of my out of my um, my natural interest in racing, uh, without a doubt. I love WRC stuff, I love Formula One stuff, touring cars, anything like that to do with racing. Um, I've done some racing uh, previously. Um, I've been into uh, racing cars. I've owned a few Subarus, um, and I've done competition driving in those and so forth. I haven't done anything for about 18 months now, but I did do a lot from about 2005 through to about 2010. Um, so I've got natural interest really for racing games. So. So of course getting other people's views I suppose as regards to what they think are good racing games and what and what gives them a, a bit of a you know a bit of a hard on or whatever you want to say as regards to uh, racing games. Always, always interesting to hear what other opinions are of other people. Now based on what I've just said about about my sort of uh, some of my interests to do with professional uh, racing and so forth. Um, going on from that slightly, uh, in my view there are two distinct different types of racing games. There's your arcade racers and and there are your simulation uh, type racing games. I've got to be honest, I'm actually more into my arcade racers because I prefer to have a blast on a PC and an arcade um, a machine or on a console uh, for a laugh. I'm not into, I'm not really into simulation uh, racing. Um, I have tried a bit, and actually, strangely enough, if you're really into it and you get the right kind of setup, you can actually improve your driving. You can actually improve your driving, um, and depending on what type of game you play. Uh, one of the, um, I suppose, in my opinion, and and of the opinion of quite a few other people that that certainly professional drivers out there, and I don't class myself as a professional driver by any stretch of the imagination but certainly professional drivers out there who are into their simulation driving games. Uh, Richard Burns Rally is probably one of the best well-known simulation uh, games for a PC. You can also get them, uh, Richard Burns came out for the consoles as well, but, but certainly and the PC version is where it's at really. It's supposed to be, so, well, it, it is realistic, it's not it's supposed to be realistic, it is realistic. Um, and it's very hard because it's realistic. It's based on rallying, but it's not straightforward. You've got uh, simulation games like Live for Speed as well, I think. Live for Speed. That's also very good and, and pretty realistic as well. But moving away from that shiz, I'm not really into the simulation stuff. Like I said, I'm really into the arcade style of of racing games where you can do stupid things that you wouldn't even think of doing on the road or on the track, you know, and you can get away with doing them. Um, but I, I, I've got a fairly um, concise list here, really, of, I mean, there are so many games, so many games that you could choose from for this list, but I think any, any arcade type uh, racing uh, games uh, whether it's a console port, uh, the arcade original, or whatever, has to have. Well, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five, five games in here, and I just think these are the five best ever uh, arcade racers that have ever been produced and made, uh, without a doubt. I don't think I. In fact, guys, if you want to question this, please question it. But I would actually want a subjective, reasoned argument for this because I don't think there is one. I don't know. Um, I've got Outrun, absolutely awesomely classic game. I mean, I mean, what can I say about Outrun that hasn't already been said? It is just it has to be one of the best arcade games that's ever been made, let alone one of the best uh, arcade races ever been made. Uh, Outrun 2 or Outrun 2 Special Tours or or whatever version of Outrun 2. Again, brilliant game. And, 
as an arcade racer, you know, it's just great that you can get a strange that game in one uh, sort of credit. You know, uh, you don't. I mean, these types of games you don't keep playing and keep playing and keep playing them uh, uh, after each other, after each other, after each other. You, you know, you'll have a quick blast. You'll go away from it. You'll do something else. You probably won't touch it again for two or three months, and you'll go back to it again. I can't be asked with these things. I I don't mind stuff like Forza, that type of thing, or Gran Turismo. But the days when I've got time to spend actually going through a game until its completion. Um, it's very few and far between nowadays. I just don't get the time, so I don't get enjoyment out of that type of game. I'm not saying that those those other types of console races aren't good. You know, your forces and your GTs, uh, they are. But I don't rate them as as a driving game. To me, a driving game needs to be something quick you get into, a quick blast for me to get enjoyment, and I'll go to something else. So I'm a bit a bit, a bit blinkered in my view here, but hopefully I've justified why I'm being blinkered. So you've got Outrun, you've got Outrun 2, absolutely great classic games. I will get an Outrun 2 arcade machine at some point, trust me. I've come close to getting one about 18 months ago, I think, nearly two years ago. I bottled it and never bought it, should have done. It was probably one of the things I should have done, you know. I regret not doing it actually, to be honest, but I will get one at some point. So Outrun 2, great game. Uh, Daytona USA. It's probably my my favourite arcade racer, and and probably if I'm being honest, it's probably one of my favourite arcade games ever. I've spent so much time on on Daytona over the years. Every time I see a Daytona machine, well, nearly every time I see a Daytona machine, I will go and stick a credit in it. I just at the, the game is. <laughs> It's just awesome. I love the music, I love the graphics, I love the gameplay. Brilliant game. And the recent Xbox Live and PSM release of Daytona USA, uh, the HD version, is it's brilliant. And I'll use my, my normal um, uh, describing word of awesome. It is absolutely awesome. Unbelievably awesome. Great game that is. Yeah, Daytona USA fourth game has to be Sega Rally 2. Again, what a classic. Um, I'd love to get Sega Rally 2 at home as well, as an arcade machine, but but I think I'd probably rather go to Outrun 2, uh, to be fair. But, but Sega Rally 2, again, I, I just absolutely love that game, and I really do like the Dreamcast version. And I know it's not a, a brilliant port, but, but I just love Sega Rally that much. I think Sega Rally 2 is awesome. Much better than Sega Rally, in my opinion, but that is my opinion. And the last game that has to go in any top five of mine for racing, again, it's got to be Ridge Racer. The music on Ridge Racer, again, the graphics, the gameplay of the game, just absolutely brilliant. And as Mark mentioned in his video, I remember getting the PlayStation 1. I imported it from Japan the same month it came out in Japan. And that came out in Ridge Racer. So in the same month, I had uh, the PlayStation One and Ridge Racer. I can't remember what year it was, but it was November time. And I had the Sega Saturn came out the same month, and I had uh, Virtual Fighter on that. And I just, I, 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 of course, I played the games to death. But the fact I could just watch these games on their track sequence on my TV. It was just brilliant because at that point in time they were basically arcade perfect. I know they were, but they were so close to being it compared to what had come before. And with anything, great memories. And like I said, Ridge Racing, it, you know, again, it, it, it rarity that I ever do see that machine in the arcades, and that's pretty rare now you see Ridge Racing, the original Ridge Racer in an arcade. I have to bank credit in it. Absolutely love it. So that is my top five guys. I'd love you guys to do a response to this video response or even make comments on my video and uh, let's keep this going, it's, um, yeah, I'd love to hear what your views are guys, speak to you again soon.